what is up? This is Soul Plays back from Dragon Ball's Universe 2. So today, guys, we're trying out a brand new mod. It's going to be the Karoli Black mod from Dragon Ball Fusions. Holy shit, guys. With the DLC nearing for this game in less than probably nine days now, we've officially obtained this mod in our possession, created by my boy Air Talent. He hit me up the other day and was like, yo, I saw your other videos. I'm going to hit you up and just give you a random mod for, you know, free. Just completely free of charge. This is actually for Patreons that pledge to his page and everything, so you guys can check this out for yourself. I'll link everything in the description below. You can pledge to him. I think it's like $5, or uh, it all depends on, like, the, I guess, pricing on it. You can pledge as much as you want, but as long as you are a Patreon member and you pledge to Air Talent, you can get this mod for yourself. It looks fucking amazing. There are actually two transformations. We have the base form, of course, as you can see right here. Then the legendary Super Saiyan one, where he's pretty much, you know, his standard form. And then legendary super saiyan rose which it just looks phenomenal like i saw like a little preview picture of it and i'm just so fucking excited dude we're getting closer to the dlc for this game and this is just getting me hyped hopefully it gets you guys hyped for it let's go ahead and check out the move set we got gigantic omega saucer blade blaster shell maximum charge super black kamehameha gigantic meteor blaster meteor and legendary super saiyan and then that can also you know, go into the legendary Super Saiyan Rose kind of form and all that stuff. And then one finger is enough for you, Super Soul. Man, this is just super exciting. And I just want to say, please, please, please check out Air Talent. And if you can, pledge to him. He just does such an amazing job. Super homie, down to earth, and always just being a super kind guy in general. I covered his, uh, I guess base form and legendary super saiyan form and actually this has legendary super saiyan blue which i didn't even know of are you kidding me i could have just used that we got to cover that one as well in this video just because you know this is a special video we got all the dlc just going on with dragon ball fusions and it's just time it's about that time so before we get started guys do me a huge favor and hit that like button to reach 15 likes on this video to be amazing i really appreciate it plus you guys want to see more dragon balls universe 2 content on this channel as well as continuation of the mod series and more dragon ball fusions and Xenoverse 2 just fusions together. I mean, like, we got both of them. We got the games, and it's just like, oh my god, video games are amazing. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? So, we're gonna go and try this guy out, and we're gonna go against, I guess, the normal Karoli form. And, uh, yeah, for this battle in particular, we have to go to the space. We just gotta go to Space Earth. Like, this is just such an ultimate, just crazy fucking battle. And <laughs> look at these two dudes. You can definitely tell that he uh, kind of got the facial features from Goku Black for this mod in particular. Like, look at it. It looks fucking like, you know, Goku Black. And it's gotta be, you know, some Super Saiyan Rose just abilities that we didn't fucking get yet. So, hopefully in the, I think, DLC pack number three for uh, Xenoverse 2... Uh, I'm not sure when that's going to release, probably maybe in March. I feel like they're doing it like every single uh, month. They're going to release like a new DLC pack. That's kind of what they did with uh, Xenoverse 1, so hopefully we see something like that. Let's go and use Super Black Kamehameha, just starting off super strong. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is so amazing. But yeah, man, all this crazy DLC talk, and I know I've just been talking about it non-stop since like probably the beginning of this year. It's just because it's so exciting. Like, come on, I can't help it. So we got to go Super Saiyan Rose. Look at this, dude. This is on point. This looks exactly like fucking Karoli Black. Like, who thought that this fusion was going to be like a reality? We were going to get this at one point in our life. Just what? Goku Black, a new character with Broly. Like, how hypothetical could you get? But, you know, it's legitimate in the game. So cannot wait to try that character out. I really hope somebody makes a mod of the future EX Trunks sort of fusion. It's like the Double Trunks fusion. I'm not even sure what it's called, but it's like Kid Trunks and then Adult Future Trunks fused together. And they look just like weird as fuck. It's so trippy. He's got like blue hair and then purple hair at the same time. And then he's got this really cool like uh, kind of hoodie. It turns into a hoodie for whatever reason. His jacket just like straight up just changes. So we're gonna go gigantic meteor and just finish this mofo off. Man, these this is gonna be a quick video just because of how powerful he is. Holy shit! I don't want to make it too long, but we're definitely like gonna showcase all of it, man. And I want to see uh, the Super Saiyan Blue real quick. We're gonna have to try that one out too. I know it's completely random, but I feel like I missed out on that. I didn't even know he had that form in uh, this game for. I mean, well, for this mod, not in this game. Like he was like a legitimate character, but. In a sense, this is DLC. I mean, I downloaded it and installed it 
that's DLC, right? <laughs> I mean, it made a new slot. So people that are like, oh, why do you call it DLC? Well, I mean, because it kind of is DLC for the PC version exclusively. So we're just going to try this out real quick, and then we'll do one more match with Karoli Black right after. But now we have to go to the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. And, man, dude, it's, oh, my God, look at these characters. Look at mods. Just look at these mods, dude. Like, people are insane. Air Talent, if you're watching this, dude, I just want to say I fucking love you. <laughs> you're you're so cool. You're so dope. You do just such an amazing job and put in so much work and effort into just something that's completely... I mean, pretty much it is free of charge, like, you know, for certain mods. And then the other ones, I understand, you know, the pledging with Patreon. You definitely deserve it, dude. And, like, oops. Such such amazing work. <laughs> like, come on. Hit up my boy. The modders and everyone just in the community. Just doing a fantastic job here. Just fucking... Mm, oh my god. But yeah, um, I don't know if you guys are hyped about the Nintendo Switch as much as I am. But, dude, I saw like a couple of trailers last night. And holy shit, was it just epic. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Okay, so this... <laughs> Wow! Oh my goodness, this looks beautiful. So we got Super Saiyan Rose and Super Saiyan Blue, legendary Super Saiyan. What the absolute fuck, man? This is crazy. These are, this is going beyond, like, power levels that could be detected. Like, you cannot even comprehend how just strong these characters are now at this point. But yeah, as I was saying with the Nintendo Switch, like two trailers dropped yesterday, uh, super late at night for some reason, in both Japan and America, and it was just like super epic. Like, I saw Breath of the Wild, and it looks so HD. Like, the quality of that game is just getting better and better. Like, it's slowly but surely getting to the point to where, like, I can definitely tell a difference between the uh, Switch version and the Wii U version. The Wii U version, it lags, it looks like shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it kind of does. And, I mean, if you're going to get it for the Wii U, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I understand, but I'd say just invest in the Switch. Like, just, you know, drop a couple 300. I'm not saying, like, it's cheap or anything, because obviously it's not. But, you know, I would invest in 300 for the Switch and getting Breath of the Wild so that you get the best experience. It's not worth, you know, just wasting 60 bucks for, like, fucking a game that kind of is unfinished. I mean, it's not going to be, like not finished at all but you know it's lagging it's kind of like if you played uh xenoverse one on the ps3 like i made the mistake of doing that and i i don't regret it whenever it first initially came out but i wish i had a ps4 at that time so i could have played it you know in the full-on experience but i feel like uh the fact that xenoverse 2 came out it kind of helped because um i was i wasn't spoiled like a lot of people were like complaining and bitching about the graphics like oh my god they're so bad on, well not bad but like they're not you know improved from xenoverse 2 and it's like what the hell like it looked great i thought it looked fantastic because i didn't really notice um how like how much better it was going to look you know later on in xenoverse 2 and then like i saw what it initially looked like and i got fucked in uh, xenoverse 1 it, it just looked i don't know xenoverse 1 for the ps3 it just it didn't look as bad it was just the frame rate more than anything was just oh my god it was so it was god awful. So, uh, definitely, you know, I'd say invest in the 300 for the Switch. If you're going to get Breath of the Wild, uh, definitely, I mean, the Wii U option is there for a reason for people to try out. But, uh, you know, we'll do one more match like this and then we'll go to do, 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 Cell Games Arena just because. <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to go to more random stages as I've stated in the past. Like, I go to the same fucking stages all the time. Like, look at these guys. I feel like Karoli Black's face. It's like his eyes are a lot bigger for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, Goku Black, he definitely has like those weirder, uh, larger kind of eyes for whatever reason in this game. So, um, yeah, definitely invest in the Nintendo Switch. Man, it's just going to be such a good console. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be revolutionary, especially like after I saw the second trailer that was kind of showcasing like the overall, you know, like viewpoints and everything from the console and like the little like additional like perks and stuff like that. It's just, man, a lot of cool stuff to be seeing for this game and the future of this uh, console is going to be just revolutionary, man. It's like I saw the part where they were actually playing like an eight play. Well, not. Uh, no, nobody was like actually playing but you know they were showing like eight different consoles like the fucking screen and like gamepad and all that stuff and it just looked like it looked ridiculous like we're gonna be able to bring these with us anywhere we want and just play with anybody and it's like we just have two giant home consoles 
I mean, they're not that big, but we had like these two massive home consoles with us, and we're just like, holy shit, we're playing this on the go. Like, is that not crazy? Look at that finisher, dude. Super Black Kamehameha with Super Saiyan Rose, Legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> these names, these names, dude. So, man, just a lot happening this year, and uh, I just wish school wasn't a thing, man. It just kind of ruins it for me, but... Uh, you know, it's the only thing getting me through school is, you know, all the hype surrounding video games. Like, video games are fucking legends. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Comment down below recommending any new mods. Please, please, please check out my boy Air Talent. All his links will be in the description below. He is just a super homie, as usual. You guys already know, I love this dude, and he deserves so much more credit and just praise for his work. So, talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.